photos of another awesome place. Ooh, look at this place. Where's the park? I'll park around here for this, so I can beat out of the photos. Okay, so today's shoot looking good. Looking good, all places nice being nice. Couple of floors. Kitchen living room. Let's see this. Nice. Nice. Okay, apart from the noisiness, uh, I have got to show you something quite special in this video. This house is quite a stonker of a house. Uh, it's so good, I need to show you uh, the whole of this house. So it's over um, three stories, so ground floor, first floor, second floor, and it's, it's very big, very uh, lovely. Everything about this is lovely. You've got so many rooms, I wouldn't know what to actually name them all. And they're so big, there's an echo <laughs> in the place. And there's quite a challenge of actually finding the light switches everywhere. There are all these um, fancy light switches, which are uh, lots of information that can be done in there. So yeah, ground floor, double, double sink. Uh, and you lose, check out the wallpaper. Even the wallpaper is pretty awesome. Some peacocks. And then uh, maybe like a kid's room. Haven't seen in here, what's in here? Just, just stuff, okay. Uh, also, what? This is weird. What color is it? I'm seeing kind of like it's got a green in the middle, pink, pink at the bottom, orange at the top, and I think that's just a reflection of the, the grass from outside coming in here and making a kind of green line there. That's really weird. Um, yeah, try, trying to colour correct all the uh, shots in here is going to be quite a challenge. Um, cool man cave slash study. I'm loving this ladder on a roller. Quite a lot of plugs that you need. But check out that for getting to all your books and folders. That's brilliant. I, I, need, I need that in my life. Uh, old grandfather clock, or maybe it's a grandmother clock. Uh, and, and then this is cool. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to probably be saying that far too much. And this is cool, this is cool, I like this. Uh, very nice, just cool. Decoration, cool decorations, nice bit of colour, pizzazz. And again, look at the kind of cornicing, the detail. And you notice all the roofs, the, uh, all the ceilings of each room, it's got a speaker system. So this place is made to be an absolute party house. Uh, we'll go upstairs in a minute. You've got kind of a. This is your cloak room, utility room. You've got washing machine, towel dryers, and all that stuff. But the ground floor kind of pizzazz room is the kitchen, dining room, sitting room. Look at this. This is the business. Less of an echo, lower ceiling uh, going on. Checking out the, the white uh, leather sofas all around. Uh, your views into the garden there, and then having all that. Nice. And the, yeah, the garden's pretty awesome. Uh, got a massive children's um, hut out there as well. Look at the size of this dining table. Massive, uh, lovely marble, all this. This looks like it's the fan thing that kind of comes up and sucks all the color. Oh, look at the skylight. Yeah, because you don't want all the steam going up there, so that's obviously one of those things that sucks all the air out of there. And then all this, all that. And then kind of a pantry room. Uh, all very cool in here. Right, so that's ground floor. Very impressive. A good three minutes of video already. We'll head upstairs. Uh, I think it's just recently had some renovations, so there's still some stuff that needs to be done. There's like a couple of light sockets um, and some light bulbs that all need to be kind of fixed. I think also these are on a sensor. These lights here, which aren't on, no, they go on. Didn't need to touch anything. Liking, don't know where the sensor is, but it's here. Right, I'll go into that room next. Got the pink room. Again, I don't think, I don't think it's actually pink. It's just the sun bouncing off this pink bed sheet. And my camera can't even get the right color. It's gone orange now. 
And I think these are actually grey walls. <laughs> and then this kids' bedroom with your own ensuite, sink, toilet, and very nicely done shower. Like yeah, it's just black and white, lots of coolness going on there. Check out the tiles. They're nice. And then back into the hall. And then this this is the master bedroom. Ah, uh, it's big, it's very big. Not struggling for space in here, that's for sure. Need a massive TV, obviously. I don't know if I'd have the TV there, if your bed's there. Maybe, maybe I'd move that. I do like it's uh, it's got a, a dressing room. This is like the proper dressing room in here. With all the wardrobes, built-in speakers still, all the lights. Very, very cool in here, like that. And totally silent as well. You don't hear anything from outside, but check out the on the master bedroom ensuite bathroom with the double sinks, two fully separate sinks. Uh, the really cool bath, and then like there's a wall in here, and it's for a kind of a walk-in <laughs> mega walk-in shower. Three, four steps of walking in to the shower. So cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting my steps up today, just walking around, taking all the photos of this house. And then you see some stairs going up more. In fact, I haven't seen this cupboard. Is this cupboard able to open? Uh, stuff. Under stair storage. Okay, nothing, nothing of interest in there. Uh, yeah, this is totally a place for art. Definitely needing your art on the walls. Next, kind of kids' bedroom again. Again, with its own ensuite, with a big bath, shower, toilet in there, like that. Like two sided. It almost looks like you could go out, you could sneak out the window and hang out on the balcony out there. That'd be quite cool if you were a kid. And then, first floor's lit sitting room, living room, family room. Uh, so there's obviously something that needs to be done with the gas fire there, but again, <laughs> the corner, this is this house could easily be split up into four complete, four or five completely separate houses, um, which I suspect is what some of the neighbours may have had their houses uh, turned into. But it, they've kept this one single house to rent out as well. That's the other thing they're renting this out. I think it's like eight thousand pounds a month, and then you think, okay, so. Cool, we've done the ground floor, we've done the first floor. The last floor, what is it? Probably just like a little, little granny flat, a little annex, maybe a couple of little, tiny little bedroom storage space. First of all, you can think, oh, it's quite, quite bright stairs, that's quite good. Come up, some more stairs. And then you're like, hold on a minute. <laughs> Again, I'd love to see this place with some, uh, some actual furniture uh, in here. Uh, but wow. One upstairs. And so this is a full, <laughs> yeah, you can live up here all the time. You've got your full kitchen. So, large kitchen. Got your sink, got your cuckoo, got your oven. Got all your nice leaded drawers. Leaded drawers, yeah. A view out over the garden there. And then this is your kitchen dining area. And then kind of a supporting wall, I guess. And this could be your living room area. Stick a TV there. But then, you've also got a balcony space. Out here. Where you've just got this. Look at this. Lovely painted. It's just all been nicely painted white. And, yeah. Got your own little place to sit out here in the sunset of the evening. The sun will be setting out over here. Get the sun blasting in here. You got the seal at the top of the house here. Lovely. And then back in. And then so up here is full three bedrooms as well. So you've got your mass your main bathroom, you've got your walk-in shower, toilet sink, bath there. I just love these. And then bedroom Quite tricky to find a place to be. Oh no, you can put your bed right there. That's fine. Yeah, bed, bed there. Wardrobe's already built in. Nice little kind of a sloped ceilings. I love that. And then next bedroom. 
which is currently a study. So it could easily be a bedroom because you've got the things there. So you'd have your bed there. They're, they're advertising the study. Again, you've got your speakers in the ceiling there. Maybe that's just to call each other <laughs> from around the house. And then in here, last room. Obviously, uh, whoever was in here has just a uh, recent, that's one of the, was it your baby chair? Uh, cot room. Baby's room, imagine having to walk up all these stairs every time your baby needs to be fed. Just live up here, be brilliant. And then this one's also got an on, uh, this one's got an on street, also sh uh, toilet, shower, sink, obviously some wires still need to be done there. Oh, look at all these windows as well, great view. Sunny mornings in here. Yeah, had to show this, cause it's so cool. Loving it. Yeah, and tiles in there, lovely wood. There's no creaking throughout the house at all. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, I'll put a link down to the photos in the description down below. But yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what eight grand a month gets you in Edinburgh. I think, I think it's eight grand. Around about there.